Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we'll be going behind the scenes and I will show you what I do whenever I'm train spotting. So currently I'm on the train to Del Rai because I'm going to go train spotting there. And um, yeah, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes, showing you how I do it. So the station is only about five minutes away. So right now I'm going to set up my tripod and all that, get my camera ready to film the train leaving. And yeah, I will see you once we get to Del Rai. Well, uh, that's a bit of a pain. I wasn't able to get my tripod ready in time because it's such a big thing. Uh, let me show you just now, actually. So yeah, it's quite big. It can go up to about six foot. It's not six foot right now. I got it for Christmas and I've got my camera on top there. So I wasn't able to, able to film the train department, but yeah. Um, so that's what I used to film. In fact, this isn't... Right, I'll sort that in a second. But yeah, um, let let me show you how I film some trains then. In case we've got fast train coming. Here comes the free to going non-stop. Free to one one zero for most hated free eighty. And thanks for the horn. So yeah, that's how I film a train. Uh, I'm going to show you from the point of view from this tripod now. That's my old tripod, and this is a new one. Look at the height difference. Yeah, thanks a lot, camera, for turning off. And this is what it looks like when it's at full height. It's at least six foot. It's taller than me. I'm about five foot eight. And compared to that small tripod, which is also at full height, can barely reach five foot for that. In fact, it's probably like barely four foot. So yeah, the new one I've got is twice the height. And it's amazing, but I pressed to carry around and set up. But once you're using it, it's well worth it. Well, that's just great. A bit of my tripod just came off. And uh, thankfully it's my old one. And in the distance here we've got a train. So yeah, bad luck with this. Well, I've managed to fix it. It was this bit here that came out and I've fixed it now. And you've got the free to there. It's just running three minutes early. We have a class 3 going from Glasgow Central to Air, giving 1k19. Thank you very much for the horn. Well, Force 3 is going from Air to Glasgow Central. I can't remember the head code of this train, but it's 2k something. And it's doing an all stopping route to Glasgow, with its next stop being Glengarna. So I thought I would come to this end of platform one because you're out of the way of the public and as well as that you've got a straight bit of line down there which is good for zooming in on especially when you've got a camera that's really good at zooming in on trains and so if you ever come to Dorai, come to this part of platform one it's on the side that's closest to Glasgow Doing one tango ten from large to a drop. Uh, large to ten. Sorry, I wasn't sure 
And we saw all people on screen if you play the film to them, they said it's not the fast stream coming to the TV, it's not going to be on, so it's not turned up yet. And uh, I'm now going to hop on the next train to Glengarna. So, link to that video is in the top right hand side, top right hand side of your screen now. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. So that's me now done it, alright guys, uh, I think I've got plenty of footage, I'm now going to hop on the next train to Glengarnock, um, link to the alright video will be in the top right hand side of your screen now, and so yeah I'm going to quickly jump on another free to, to get to Glengarnock from some trains there, and uh, once that video is out, um, the link to that video will be in the top right hand side of your screen now. I'll be, uh, that's, it's supposed to be released onto YouTube on my main channel after this video goes public. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in whatever the next video will be.